This is Peter with Zila Industrial Repairs. Um, a few days ago, a customer came to us and requested that we build him a machine for his vineyard to wrap up the bird's netting. And he came in with these pictures where a friend of his took an old auger attachment and changed it to face a different direction. And he's wrapping up the netting with this auger attachment over a PVC tube and we are building something similar for him where he bought a plate, a quick attach plate and we be mounting a hydraulic motor on it with the hoses, the quick connects, a coupling, bearings and like a 3 inch schedule 40 black pipe that he can put a 4 inch PVC pipe over to uh, wrap up his netting. And what we do is, we do this from start to finish, we will be making cat drawings for the hydraulic motor mounts, cut them out on the CNC plasma table, weld them to the plate, had the couplings and the bearings, everything we purchased, and um, we'll be welding everything together and make our own hydraulic lines in-house with the quick connects, everything start to finish ready to go. So this is the hydraulic motor that we picked. 140 RPM, 8,500 inch-pounds of torque. We need to make a mounting plate to attach it to the quick attach plate. So here's the drawing station. An Apple computer with windows on it. And we're using Bobcat version 28 to draw the, pro to draw the file up. So this looks like the finished mounting plate here. Now we have to tool path it and go cut it out. When you are, here you go. So here you see the fold setup on the bottom, the skid steer plate, the hydraulic motor, together with the plate we just fire cut and attached to it already, uh, a coupling, shaft coupling, shaft, pillow block bearings. These two sleeves here are mounting aid. The outside diameter of these sleeves fits pretty close to the inside diameter of that three and a half inch schedule 40 pipe we're going to use to put over there so the customer can use his cardboard sleeves or PVC sleeves to wrap the netting on there. Now all we have to do is weld this all down, put this all in line so we don't have to step in the shaft here anymore, raise the pillow block bearings and attach the pipe to it. Make some hydraulic hoses, put some quick connects on, good to go.
On the far right you see the hydraulic high torque low RPM motor, the bracket we just made and this is what they call a love joy coupling. It's like a coupling that couples two shafts, same or different uh, diameter. The advantage of something like this over a chain drive is that um, it's forgiving for some misalignment. The, it will allow the shaft to run like five degrees off, where a chain drive is like a degree at best. Um, then you got the pillow block bearings, the pillow block risers to rise them up on the same level what I have the motor at. And these are just pieces to enlarge the diameter of the shaft so we can slide the pipe on. ready for our uh, next row of uh, net winding. I've got a 4 inch PVC tube that slides over the steel shaft and then I've got a 6 inch 5 16 carriage bolt that I will uh, bolt the PVC to the steel shaft for uh, winding purposes only. There we go. And then all I need is uh, this carriage bolt just to be finger tight. That's all we need. set to start winding the net up. Okay, we're in position. We have our PVC tubing on the steel shaft. We have it uh, tied on there with a couple of cable ties. And now we're going to start winding it up. What's nice is you can uh, take this at a real slow pace. Don't have to go fast. Winds it up nice and evenly. If the uh, if the helpers are uh, pulling nice and taut, uh, we'll be able to get that uh, wound up real nice and even. Yeah, and the leaves just fall off the back side. Right. Uh, as you're running your hands on it, it can blister your uh, fingertips. So always wear a good pair of uh, rubber coated gloves. 